Today, we're taking a deep dive into Steve Will Do It. We previously exposed him in a six-part series with Mudahar. Now we're going to do a little check-in, because since we last talked about him, he's back to gambling, uh, he's threatening to sue me, and he's created a crypto coin, which he swears he didn't rug. He swears it was uh, some of his friends, the nerds, he calls them. So we're going to jump into this. We're going to take our time with this one, though, because we I really got to build my case here. If you don't remember, Steve will do it. Uh, we did a big series about Rubet's House of Cards. That's a crypto casino. Basically, this guy got on the phone with me uh, after we exposed the fact that he was using fake money to gamble with. He got on the phone and said, hey, look, is there any way we can make this right? Uh, you know, I, I'm not saying this isn't bad, but... You know, man, I just, uh, he's just kind of backed into a corner and he starts telling me how b bad he feels. And eventually he tells me he's going to quit. A way where it's like, you just make this like, right? Like, like, cause I'm, 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 I'm not here saying, oh no, nothing's wrong with gambling and shit. Like, like, is there a way to, to make this right with you? So that's the first clip. Is there any way to make this right with you? Then now. Uh, this this is all preamble. This is the warm up, guys. Don't worry. We'll get to the lawsuit threats. We'll get to the crypto coin in a bit. Well, no, I've already made I've already made that decision. Like before saying that like, it is right. If I saw like it's already it's already decided. Uh, you're done with Rubat. Yeah, I mean, unless I unless there's a a way to do it right. But yeah, this is right now I'm done. I mean, unless you get on the phone and be like, hey, Steve, this is, this is how you do it right. So he says, hey, if, if you don't get on the phone with me and tell me how to do this right, this crypto gambling, I'm going to walk because I realized the error of my ways. And this is a this was a deal where he was making millions of dollars, multiple millions of dollars. That shows you how bad he felt. He felt so bad, you know, getting in all this hot water. He truly in his heart knew that something was wrong. That's where he wanted to take accountability. This wasn't an opportunistic leaving of Rubet to avoid heat. This is this is because he really felt bad. So uh, imagine my surprise when in April, Steve uh, responds to me. Steve messages me and he says that he wants to sue me. Actually, he starts with the delete the Rubet videos. He said, and then he says, I signed to Rubet again. So he says, delete the video. And also I signed to Rubet. Uh, again, he says, I made wrong accusations. He says, you think you can delete the Rubet video because you were wrong? I don't own Rubet specifically. He thinks that I I accused him in a video of, of owning Rubet. I then naturally ask, well, where did I accuse you? I need a timestamp. And he says, maybe you didn't, <laughs> which that's already hilarious. He's like, you can't accuse me. Where, where did I accuse you? Well, maybe you didn't. But uh, your entire two videos are misleading. Uh, I'm not mad at you, bro. I actually really enjoy you. Now, we've got the classic, I like you, CoffeeZilla. But he takes that, and then he goes and tells me this. He says, if I don't take down those videos, he says he's not threatening me, but he is going to send me a uh, conversation he had with his mom where he said he wants to sue me. Um, I want to file a lawsuit against CoffeeZilla. He sent me this. What he stated was in inaccurate. Um, from way back? Yes, because it was all lies. He used my name and said I owned Rubet. No, I didn't. I just said it's bad to gamble with money that you don't own. We can send a letter to have him retract that statement. He hit, hurt me big time. Is it possible to file a lawsuit and hire the best lawyers in the world? Okay, thanks. Now, bear in mind, why is he doing this now? Like, this is... This is years ago. This is years ago. Uh, well, it's kind of what he said earlier. He said he's back on Rubet. Ultimately, why why is he doing it? Well, uh, check it out. It's I signed to Rubet again. He's back on the sauce, right? He can't. The money's too good. The conscience. It felt good for a bit to stop gambling like that. But hey, stop selling gambling to people. But now you gotta you gotta make that check, right? So. That's the start of it. Now, in the past, just in the interest of keeping the peace, I usually, when people threaten to sue me, I won't make a big deal out of it. Because it's kind of, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's like a Wednesday, you know? It's just like kind of that happens. That happens in my line of work. However, with the recent Logan Paul stuff, we're not letting any of these goobers threaten us without publicizing it anymore. Let's, hey, 
If you're going to threaten us, we're going to make content out of you, okay? So, that all happened, though. E even so, though, I probably wouldn't be talking about this if that's all it was. After that, I see a video go live where uh, Steve Will Do It is talking about a Rumble deal, okay? This is a guy, by the way, who needs money so much he's got to sign to Rubet, right? He's got to make those millions of dollars you know, selling gambling to his fans, right? That's the whole point. That's why they get you in. We talked about it in our our uh, first series. The way you make money is if you get a bunch of signups. They need you to hook a bunch of your fans on gambling. So Steve will do it. Talks about having a crippling gambling addiction. His job is to sell you a gambling addiction. So uh, I was wondering, I, I was like, he must be broke. Life for Steve will do it must have gotten really hard after he got kicked off YouTube. Something, by the way, at the time I defended him for because I thought the way he got kicked off was a little stupid, whatever. Uh, and I said that very publicly. But I wondered maybe maybe life is tough. Maybe times are hard. OK, I want to give you this as context for what we're going to see with the crypto coin, because this is so unbelievable. Imagine you are this guy and you still need more money. So how this all came about, how we found out the de details of this Rumble deal, turns out he got this Rumble deal, where I figured these Rumble guys were making like a decent living, a very decent living, but not you're not going to live that influencer lifestyle anymore, right, if you're on Rumble. Little did I know, they got that venture capital funding, they've been, they uh, IPO'd, they've got apparently crazy money, and the details of this leaked because Steve Will Do It decided to start complaining about the details of his deal, where... Uh, basically, he was insulting the owner of of Rumble because the owner of Rumble didn't want to, like, pay him fully because he didn't fully do the work in his contract. Steve Will Do It is going to complain about this and say this guy's not a man of his word, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but the details of his contract come out, and it is uh, insane how much money this guy is making already without uh, anything else. I thought he was a bad guy. It's all about communication. Because for me, if I knew he was like that, I would have just uploaded a 20 minute video every single week, sucked up the levels, and got paid 400 grand a month. 400 k a month. Okay? Did you guys hear that? I know there's a lot to this stream. I I, I don't want to go through all of it. Just a lot of people talking drunk in a casino. But uh, basically, Steve will do it. Was gonna get paid 400 thousand dollars a month. That's nearly five million dollars in a year. To upload 20-minute videos once a week, and I don't know his other deliverables, but I think that was the one he he did wasn't able to meet. 20-minute <laughs> videos. <laughs> now, now, maybe 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 there's more to that story. Uh, maybe he had a, had to do some live streams too. Uh, I I don't know. I think either way, it's insane to complain about that publicly. You're making five million dollars. You still got to uh, sign on to. Rubet again. You got to go back to Rubet. But what I find even more insane is he then confronts the owner of Rubet or uh, the owner of Rumble and he says how unfair it is. And this is all because he had to spend money on his content. He says how unfair it is. This is the CEO of Rumble. I don't know. What, you pay me five million? I spent two million on videos. What, I made three million for fucking putting Rumble on the map. I, I Imagine going, oh, you paid me $3 million. Like, like sarcastically clapping at somebody. <laughs> like, oh, Big Whoop, you paid me $3 million. <laughs> I made $3 million for fucking putting Rumble on the map. <laughs> wow. The, the level of entitlement is unbelievable. I don't know how anyone watches this and goes, I relate. Like, isn't that why people like influencers? Because they relate to them. Who's, who's relating to that? Oh, $3 million, Big Whoop. So that's all preamble. He's back on Rubet. He's at Rumble making millions, but that's not enough. He's got to run a new project. He wants to start his own crypto coin. He calls it Hero, and I'm just going to let him kind of do the talking here. All right, boys, I am on X, and right now what I realize is that the crypto community and the entire Twitter needs a hero because I am sick of all these motherfuckers, these rappers, these people that just rug. And I just texted some. I'm sick of it, dude. Uh, me too, Steve. Actually, we're in co that we have that in common. I'm sick of these celebrities. Quick cash grab. They lead their followers to the slaughter. Let's see what happens. Nerds, this guy. I said, hey, yo. Nerd. 
what people have rugged. And he said, Martin Shrell, Soldier Boy, Lil Pump, Floyd Mayweather, Trippy Red, Bryce Hall, Logan Paul, KSI, Dwight Howard, 50 Cent, David O, 6 9, Jesus Christ, Rich the Kid. I was <laughs> never guessed that one. Uh, Dylan Danis, Waka Flocka. Guys, I am going to be the hero. I do not need fucking money, dude. I just bought a fucking jet last week. I, I swear. <laughs> Wait, wait, so you brought a jet last week and you don't need money? I think that means you do need money, though. Actually, I think that means you do need money. And actually, I have a, I have proof of that. In Telegram, he would later say he's paying off his house and renovating his house. And for the next five months, he has to pay $100,000 a month for the jet. So it's, it's a bit dishonest to say you don't need money, right? Like, that's that's not quite true. You literally need money for the jet you just bought. But okay, let's 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 hear him out. I do not need money. I'm going to be You see these hands? You see these hands? These are what you call diamond hands. I don't give a fuck. I give zero fucks Show about them money. Hands for real. Show them. No, I do not. By the way, these guys in the background are important. They will later be or some of these guys will be the fall guys for this whole scheme. I don't care. I am going to be the hero. I'm going to be the hero for X for the crypto community. I swear to God, money over legacy or Jesus Christ. Oh, oops. <laughs> he goes, money over legacy, catches himself. Money over legacy, or Jesus Christ, legacy over money. <laughs> no, we got to keep it raw. Legacy over money. Being legendary over money. I don't give a fuck, dude. I'm going to be a hero. You see all these guys? I said, hey, nerd, what people are fucking rug and scam on crypto to make a few million dollars? Bro, I don't need money, dude. All right, so that's that's the setup. He launches a coin. He doesn't need money, right? And bear in mind, okay, there's a lot of names, uh, a lot of a blame game that's going to be played in a second here because he says he doesn't need money. But if you'll notice, there are people in the background throughout this, these people that Steve is calling just like he said, he refers to them as nerd. Hey, nerd, come here. Well, those guys, um, like people like he calls this guy the nerd, um, these people, Steve is later going to scapegoat and say they're the reason that this coin has now crashed. Uh, because if you actually look at the chart now, because I did, it looks like this. Coin is way down. And I said, who dumped? Steve replies, I think the people behind the coin in beginning. They deny everything and keep using the word snipers. <laughs> That's the oldest trick in the book, dude. Uh, and if you see, that guy's face looks a lot like uh, this guy, the guy he condescendingly called nerd. Uh, I don't know if this guy was just pissed off and was like, ah, you you think I'm the nerd? Okay, great. I'm going to uh, screw you over. I also don't know if this is a big front. I thought about doing a big deep dive investigation into Steve again, but I ultimately realized it doesn't matter. Well, I mean, what honestly is the point? He's going to apologize and go, I'll never do that again. And then go do it. He's going to go do it again. Like, this is the same thing with Ruben. We did a big investigation. We got him. And then he's like, oh, dude, I swear, dude. Hey, not, unless you call me, I will never do Ruben again. And then, like, he, tell, he tells me I'm going to sue you. And also, I'm doing Ruben again. Um, so, I, I don't really see the point in doing this big deep dive investigation again. I think the chart speaks for itself. Ultimately, if, if, you're, if you're an influencer and, and you have a coin like this that looks anything like this right here uh that's on you at the end of the day uh he insists that he's lost money he also showed me some other people he just kept sending me passports of people who worked for him that he suspected had done this to him but it's just so silly you are making millions of dollars every month for not a lot of work and yet you still want a coin why what hey you don't want to scam anyone with crypto don't launch a crypto. You know, it's pretty simple. You could be a hero. If you're an influencer out there, in fact, in fact, if you're like, I want to be the hero of crypto. Hey, don't launch a coin. You're a crypto. Inf you're an influencer and all you go, I want to be the hero. Don't, you know, ever think of that? Like when you think of doing it, don't, don't. So anyway, that's the story of Steve will do it. He now insists that he's been scammed uh, and insists that he has no need for money, although... He's got to pay off that jet. Got to pay off that nice new jet he's got. So whether you want to believe uh, he's never going to sell like he insists or you believe money over legacy was a bit of a Freudian slip, I don't know. That's up to you. 
But I just wanted to share this uh, this story of Steve. I think it's a cautionary tale of what happens when you get addicted to gambling. Uh, clearly, the guy is like, I, I don't know what to say. I think he's the case study of what happens when you get too, too much money too fast and you let it go to your head. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. And I guess we'll check back in with him in a few more years, see what he's doing.